It's time once again to live it up in style. Welcome to the latest edition of Life in Style. First up, let's take a look at what the menu is looking like. On Life in Style this week, designer Priya Kataria Puri creates the perfect red carpet look in our red carpet fashion series. We tell you how you can dance away to a fit and graceful body. And we catch up with the author of Jane Bhido Yaro, a book based on the 1983 cult classic. Quite a packed lineup for you as always, but we kickstart the show with something that's precious to all of us. Time. Well, who doesn't wish to flaunt a luxurious timepiece on their wrist? And there are numerous brands offering watches that not just combine style but also mechanism. And we are going to take a look at one such brand, Hublot. Lustrous dials, classy straps and fine mechanics. These are a few attributes good enough to tempt anyone to splurge on a timepiece. And if it's just timeless luxury, there are many world-class brands to reckon with. And Hublot is one such strong name in the Swiss watchmaking industry. We caught up with the CEO of Hublot, Jean-Claude Beaver, to know his personal favourites among the new collection. It's a watch that is all black and it's called Black Magic. And I like the movement. The movement inside looks like a steam machine. Very technical. The watch will always look like this. Never different. After 100 years, will look like this. Cannot get scratched. This is in ceramic, but for my style, very well adapted. The first pick of Beaver is from the Aerobank collection, and it's called the Black Magic. The watch has a black ceramic case and a 44mm bezel. It has a unique skeleton face with a chronological movement. The strap, which is made of unconventional material, that is natural rubber, makes it scratch-proof and long-lasting. Price? Not much for the long life it has. Now let's check out the second pick. Oh, what is special is, as you can see, is first it's special because it's beautiful. Secondly, it's special because it's different. Thirdly, it's special because it's an unusual color. Brown here, brown and gold, gold and diamonds, and brown on the dial. All the a brown strap, all this makes the atmosphere of the look, the soul of the watch, totally different. This watch for the ladies is not just high quality but also aesthetically evolved. The glittering diamond studded on the 18 karat red gold case defines luxury and opulence. The chocolate colour rubber strap is again a unique feature. If price is the last thing on your mind, this watch could be the first on your list. You see, this is a watch for a man that has many watches. It's all black with red. And the combination, red and black, is quite astonishing. And the pushers are red, the dial is black with red. That's sporty, you go to the sea, you're on your sailing boat, or now in winter you go skiing. It's fantastic. It's, it fits your jacket. It's a limited edition. It, we, I, think, I think we do 100 pieces. Just 100. If adventure is on your mind and you love a hint of color on your wrist, this is an ideal piece. It's again a 44mm ceramic bezel watch from the Big Bang collection. It has a red gummy alligator strap with a self-winding automatic movement. Again, a highly durable and stylish watch at not so exorbitant pricing. So get one of these luxury pieces and let time talk for you. Moving on now to something that's making a buzz everywhere, the Oscars. Well, continuing our series on red carpet fashion, this week it's designer Priya Kataria Puri setting the right rules for fashion at the Oscars. So here's a look at how Priya would like to dress up her favourite muse at the gala event. It's the Oscar season and in our hunt to get the perfect red carpet look, we saw how designer Narendra Kumar created a dreamy Oscar look 
and now it's time for designer Priya Kataria Puri giving us a lowdown on the fashion at the Oscars. At the last Oscar you saw a lot of off-white, beige and skin color with a splash of red and black. So I think for 2011 you're still going to see the classic colors but you will definitely see three four actresses wearing a trendy color which would be a, a turquoise or shades of green for show sure. and i think the actresses in uh, in hollywood they love wearing gowns which are normally floor length so i think we are still going to see the floor length um i think in both the styles which will be flouncy and draped though i think in 2011 you will see draped more than flouncy that's the fashion forecast for the 2011 red carpet event Now let's find out which Hollywood diva has qualified to be Priya's muse. It was very difficult to pick one particular muse, but I think I would choose Cameron Diaz for the simple reason she normally wears very fitted, tight-fitted draped dresses and gowns. She doesn't usually wear a very, you know, warm, voluminous gown. And I think that made her look really different and made her stand out because it was a new look for her which she carried off very well. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. This is Raman and now we are going to convert her into our own Hollywood Cameron Diaz. I think we are going to have a wear this gown. Oh, lovely. And uh, let's see how this looks on you. Okay. Great. Wow. Raman is looking stunning already for the red carpet, are you? Thank you. Well, going by the trends, I think you will be pretty much fit into the styles that you will see in 2011. Well this gown is perfect because um it's got the shape so keeping in mind the cut this is the perfect cut because it's actually just drapes the body in terms of fabric it's the perfect fabric for beading because tulle and net takes the shape of the body and it's got a little bit of elasticity and the beading when it's done on it the embellishments with the crystals or the stones it sort of uh, you know fits your body like a glove and uh, in terms of coloring also it fits in perfectly it's a beautiful shade of a uh, of turquoise a light going into a dark when it comes to accessories there's nothing that's more glamorous than diamonds but in general if the gown is beaded for example a gown like this they tend to keep the jewelry very light for example this is a beautiful diamond earring and you know with 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 the hair open you can see a little bit of peekaboo and you don't really see it So when it comes to jewelry they don't like to overplay it they like to underplay it. My Carmen Diaz for the next Oscar is going to look like this. I I can assure you she will look stunning because she has the height to carry this, the figure to carry it and she has those dazzling blue turquoise eyes to carry an outfit like this. Going by what Priya suggests it's well fitted cuts, lots of bling and shades of blue that's going to rule at the Oscars this time. Clearly Priya thinks the Oscars are going to be a lot more blingy this time. With that we take our first breather here on Life and Style. On the other side, we get you a fun workout regime that will keep you fit and happy and we meet the author of the book based on the cult classic Jane Bhido Yaro.